Good morning, dear children. Welcome to computer class. Today, we can revise uh, the chapter Procedures in Logo. We already finished that chapter last week. And uh, today, we can revise the chapter. And also, we can do the exercises behind the textbook. So, dear children, take your pencil and uh, textbook with you. So, we can first we can revise the chapter and then we can do the exercises behind the textbook. Okay? Ready? Good. So, dear children, we can revise the chapter Procedures in Logo. Now, what is a procedure? Yes. A logo procedure is just like a single step which does many more steps automatically. Logo procedure is a single step that execute many more steps automatically. Or procedures uh, help us to save logo commands in our computer. Okay. Lo procedures help us to store logo commands. Understand. So what is a procedure? Procedure is a single step that execute many more steps automatically or we can store logo commands inside a procedure okay so logo procedures help us to store logo commands clear while defining a procedure while defining a procedure name we have to follow some rules first thing a procedure name can have letters and numbers a procedure name can have letters and numbers cannot have only numbers or spaces cannot be same as any other logo primitive a logo procedure name can have combination of letters and numbers like uh, my file 111 okay my square 12 okay or in all these names uh, we can see both letters as well as numbers. So, combination of letters and numbers are allowed as procedure name. But, only numbers or spaces, only numbers or spaces are not allowed. Understand? Now, third point, cannot be same as any other logo primitive. A logo procedure name cannot be same as any other logo primitive like we cannot use print we cannot use a repeat we cannot use right left clear screen clear um, text all these are logo commands we cannot use logo commands as procedure name understand so while defining a procedure name we have to follow uh, three important rules first one a procedure name can have letters and numbers, cannot have only numbers or spaces and cannot be same as any other logo primitive. Another important thing is the commands required to define a procedure. We need two commands, okay, which are the two and n commands. Two is the opening command and n is the closing command. A logo procedure starts with the keyword to and ends with the keyword end okay in between to and end we can type the entire commands and their code okay a logo procedure uh, opens with the keyword to and ends with the end so to and end are the two commands required to define a procedure to and end commands are required to define a procedure. 2 is the opening command and end is the closing command. Clear? And uh, next, how to save a procedure? Saving a procedure is very simple. For that, first we have to click on file menu and select save as option. A save as dialog box will appear. We have to, uh, uh, for, we can select the path and type the file name in the file name text box and click on save okay we can choose the path or we can uh, select the path and after that we can 
type the file name under which folder under which drive under under which directory we need the um, procedure that we can select and after that we can type the file name next loading a procedure after saving a procedure next time if you want to uh, load the procedure we have to follow uh, some steps like first we have to click on file menu and we have to choose load option and when we click load option a dialog box will appear from the dialog box we can choose our file name or we can select the file and then click on open button to load a procedure these are the important things that we should uh, remember okay and next is textbook exercise next is textbook exercises take page number 43 activity time okay solve the following crossword solve the following crossword across number 2 opening command to define a procedure opening command to define a procedure is 2 okay you you have to write 2 in the space given okay you have to write 2 in the space given fourth one each procedure has a unique dash each procedure has a unique name okay find number 4 and here you can write the spelling what is the spelling of n a m e across you have to write across okay and fifth one this menu helps you save the procedure this menu helps you save the procedure which menu file okay that is number 5 f i l e across you have to write across next down number 1 a single command that execute many more commands what is that procedure very good procedure see number 1 down you have to write downwards p r o c e d u r e procedure okay and third one closing command to define a procedure wow which is the closing command yes end so you have to write n e n d number 3 is here write e n d okay so we finish that exercise and next complete the following first one to save a procedure to save a procedure you have to fill in the blanks click on dash menu option click on dash menu option first we have what we have to do first we have to click on file menu option select dash select save as option a dialog box will appear select the dash we have to select the path okay we have to select the path and type the name of your procedure okay name in the next dash we have to write name last thing click on save okay. number 2 next to load a procedure what are the steps to load a procedure first what we have to do first we have to click on file menu then select load option a dialog box will appear select your file select your file click on open button to open or to load a procedure copy neatly to your textbook okay and next is writing uh, procedures okay first question write a procedure to draw a rectangle very simple okay what is the uh, basic property of a rectangle opposite sides are equal right so opposite sides are have, have opposite sides have same length okay so uh, here here is the command see in the last year we have studied how to draw a rectangle using repeat command we can uh, draw the rectangle so while defining a procedure first we have to write the opening command to leave a space and write the name of the procedure what is the name of the procedure rect okay rectangle in short we can write rect and repeat to 
with in square bracket F D hundred R T ninety F D fifty R T ninety, and then type end to draw a rectangle. Okay, so those who are having logo at home can practice all these activities. You can uh, try all these procedures. Okay, and second one, write a logo procedure to draw a hat. Last class we already done this activity, but sometimes uh, you may not uh, copy the commands. So here you you have the commands. You just copy to your notebook or textbook. It is better to write on your notebook. Okay, write a logo procedure to draw a hut. Copy all these commands. Two space hut. RT forty five FD hundred RT ninety uh, FD hundred home again RT ninety pen up FD fifteen pin pen down repeat four FD one fifteen RT ninety HT end. You should copy these commands to your textbook and also write on your notebook. Okay. And third question. Hope you all have finished. Otherwise, you can pause the video and copy the code. Okay. And last one, write a logo procedure to make seven steps. Very easy. Two steps using repeat command. We can uh, write repeat seven. FD fifty, RT ninety, FD hundred, LT ninety. Then write end command to draw seven steps. Okay. Thank you so much. Only this much for today. Thank you so much. Bye.